the most northerly point of the Isle of Skye. Looking for what scientists say is the biggest dinosaur trackway in Scotland. Um, we're going. You can see the map. There. So there's footprints all over the surface. There's one, two, three, four. I'm Steve Brusati. I'm a paleontologist at the University of Edinburgh. We were looking here at the site for the bones of small vertebrates, little lizards, crocodiles, those kind of things. But as we started to walk along this surface at the end of the day, as the light hit it at the right angle, my colleague Tom and I kind of looked at these depressions in the rock and it just kind of clicked that something was, was odd about these things. So then everything stopped and we started to map the area and we realized that these were footprints and these were the first time footprints of these dinosaurs, the big long neck dinosaurs, those brontosaurus, brachiosaurus type dinosaurs, the first time those footprints had ever been found in Scotland. You really have to wait for the tide to go out before you can even work here. You do. High tide is totally covered, but low tide, like now, we can see these footprints here. And this one is probably the single best one of this whole site. So why is it raised up like this? So that's kind of curious, isn't it? It's raised up. When you think of a footprint, you think of you know walking on the beach, leaving your footprint in sand as a depression. But then if other sand or mud comes over and fills that in, it can form a cast of the footprint. And over time, that can turn to stone, and that's what's happened here. We have one, two, three, and four toes. So these tracks around us are about 170 million years old. They come from the middle part of the Jurassic period. And believe it or not, Sky is one of only three or four places in the world where we get fossils of dinosaurs from that age. So these are some of our only clues for how dinosaurs were evolving at that time. These footprints, these were made by dinosaurs that were living and moving around right here, right where we stand. So footprints do, I know it's a cliche, but they do allow us to walk with dinosaurs and they, they help us better understand what these dinosaurs were actually like if you were around 170 million years ago what these dinosaurs would have been like if you were able to see them. So you see footprints of different sizes, so you know that's probably a sign that there were different ages of dinosaurs. Right. So it's, um, you know, dinosaur dance floor. <laughs> so that's a big one, actually. This is one of the bigger ones. Yeah. That's really nice. So it's this dinosaur would have been stepping down and compressing all of that mud and sand underneath. And I mean, that's a good, what is that? 20 centimeters or so of this dinosaur yeah, pressing heavy, down. <laughs> Sky is a world-class dinosaur site, but it was only about 30 years ago that the first dinosaurs were found here. So we're just starting to get a picture of how important Sky is. And every time we come out, we find new things. And our friends up here on Sky, they're always finding new things. So the future here is really, really bright. This is Scotland's dinosaur island, and there's a whole lot more to come. <laughs>